What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Kyle Holly, and uh, I'm at the auction right now today. Started filming a little late, just got straight to work. Um, check this little guy out. Hold on, put that steering wheel back. So this is a 2017 Audi A3 Premium 2.0 Quattro. Um, 106,000 miles, uh, one owner, and I've actually looked at three of these today, and then one Audi, sorry, hold on, one Audi Q5, and a BMW 435i M Sport, so we are looking at all foreign today, gonna see how it goes, see what happens, trying to grab four to five vehicles, hopefully, uh, but we'll see guys. We'll see. Let's take this on a test drive So the only thing about what I'm doing today is I've got I think three or four of these now on my list Which is either a good or bad thing um, Like if someone comes they don't particularly like this spec or this one I got three more for them to choose from or if no one likes an Audi A3 and I'm not really getting hit up, then I'm not going to get hit up on four of the vehicles I bought. So I'm trying to find variety today, uh, but there's just not a whole lot that I'm absolutely in love with yet. Um, besides these, like these ones have been very clean. I haven't seen any issues out of them. They're not overheating. It doesn't look like they're leaking oil or anything. Um, Two of them are one owner, so you can't really beat that. That's always nice. Heated seats, all-wheel drive. Um, I thought, okay, there we go. This one's got blind spot, and this is like white on black, which is really cool. That always catches everyone's eyes. Either blacked out or white on black is always an eye catcher. So let's see how this one does. This one uh, is the 2017. I'm actually not sure if they may have retuned this one uh, compared to the, I think it was a 2014 and 2015 because this automatically felt a little bit faster. not gonna lie. These things are just peppy little cars. They're not actually quote unquote fast, but they're peppy and fun to drive guys great great feel to it tight heated seats definitely working heat's definitely working it was literally if you watch any of the vlogs the past two days it's been like 60 like almost 70 green and i have been walking outside playing pickleball outside um touring houses and it's been not a problem at all, but now it is literally like 33 degrees and the wind is blowing like crazy. Um, of course, on a day that I have to be outside all day, but hopefully that keeps some uh, buyers away and we find some deals today, guys. So let's see what happens. I'll show you the outside of this here in a bit. Pretty pretty aggressive looking for the A3. The A3 is the smallest one, but it's S line premium package. Looks pretty sick for real. Yeah, it's got the little uh, spoiler kit around the bottom and stuff. Sunroof. Yeah, I don't know. This is definitely one I'm going to put on the list, guys. We've got like four of them on here now, so I honestly hope I don't get all four of them because I really don't want four of the same car. Um, but they're kind of cool little cars, man. They're smaller, which is, again, good and bad. I don't know. It's like a sporty little fun car, but it's still four-door. Great gas mileage. It's a good car to have. Good daily. So we'll see. Wish me luck. Guys, check this one out. It's 
This is a 2022 BMW two, M240 X Drive. It's purple. We're also gonna check out this one. That's also a sick Lexus, but this is kind of more my style, not necessarily the color. Oh, let's check this out. So again, this is just a trade in at Audi of Louisville. Pretty sick. I've yet to be uh, in a new 240. New body. Let's give her a test. I don't know about the purple. No premium sound. Sounds pretty good stock. Let's check her out. Sounds pretty dang good stock. Let's see how she drives though. What do you think boys? Could this just be me? Should I get a purple BMW M240 and just uh, sell the Tesla? I mean, I've always been a BMW guy, but don't know about a purple 240 guy. But if I bought this, I would 100% put the Tesla in the garage and drive this around for a little while, that's for sure. Uh, I got the full digital dash, guys. Um, screen's pretty sick. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Put it in neutral. Sounds beautiful. I like the little accents they do. I don't know if you can see this. It's like, there's like waves in the doors. Pretty cool. You can kind of see what I'm talking about now. Just like the little details they got going on. But uh, all right, let's get this test drive in folks. Zero to 60. No, I'm just kidding. Probably like 40. Pretty good. Just a trade in Audi. Feels brand new still. I mean, there's 26,000 miles, it should. Wait for this little bump. Oh, yeah. Oh, she feels good. She feels really good. All right, guys. I don't think we have any other choice but to try to go for this. I'm not so sure about the purple, but let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I mean, somebody will buy it. Obviously, BMW came out with it for a reason. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna look at the prices, see what a steal would be. Um, Cause I'm definitely, something like this new, I'm not gonna buy for like a good deal. It's gotta be a, it's gotta be a steal, honestly, because when you put this much money out, you're just sitting. Um, with the amount of money this thing is going to cost me, I could buy four or five other cars, so and be making money because those ones are the ones that sell fast. 
but if it's a steel, you can make, you know, maybe close to eight to 10K, then it's probably worth it. So we'll see, let's check this Velar out too. All right, here we are in the Velar. M240 was sick. Uh, looks like retail's 47, wholesale's 40. Uh, I mean, if I could actually get it for 40, like 39, then I'd be buying that puppy. So we'll see what it goes. This is the Velar uh, R Dynamic. So it's the fastest Velar I, uh, you can get, I believe. Nice sport package, fully loaded with the Meridian sound. I put the seatbelt on. So I've never had a Velar. I always get try to get the Range Rover Sport uh, Supercharged V8s. Um, seems to grab everybody's eye. I'm really not sure um, how the Velars grab people's eyes, but I do know as far as what my experience is, white on black is an eye grabber. I instantly start getting messages, so let's see what happens here the price is definitely uh in a good range as far as resale i believe so we'll see what happens this is a 2019 91,000 miles she's pretty sick let's give her a test drive so this one is the uh like i said the r dynamic and then I think it's the P340, which means 340 horsepower. It's a V6 supercharger, um, supercharged V6. So this is kind of the best one you can get out of the Velars. Other than that, I think they have like a 2.5. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this all looks pretty sick, not gonna lie. And it's already certified. That means the mechanics have already looked at it and they've pretty much checked it to be good. You get a seven day guarantee too if I can bring it back if something's wrong. All right, here we go. Definitely feels solid. I do believe with these, there's less to go wrong than the supercharged V8s, which is just common, but the V8s are built like a tank. This one's newer compared to the older V6s. I know those usually always get problems. I'm not as versed in these, to be completely honest, but I'm gonna actually give this some more driving and uh, we'll make our decision. What up, boys? Auction day. So we're, me and Chris are talking. We're gonna pull up in this, no shades. We'll walk around it. No title, did you hear that? No title. Pull up, pull up the O'Shea's. Yeah, don't stop when you get pulled over. <laughs> See what she goes for. Literally, bill of sale only. No, sir. No, sir. I'll get 500 bucks. 500 bucks. Yo, what is up, guys? Here we go. This is the lineup today. Chris got this one. So we did pretty good. Uh, not bad at all. I'm gonna hop in. Uh, let's see. Let's see if this. All right, so we got four cars, and then I also got a Harley Davidson, I believe. I'll have to show you guys that. Here, hold on, this looks kind of fuzzy. Uh, yeah, so I'm in the BMW 335i right now. By the way, I was a hundred dollars away from getting that 22 um, BMW 2 M240i. And uh, like I said, I was trying for like 38. Wholesale was 40. I was at I bid at 40,000, and it went for like 40,500, um, which was just I don't know. There was too much like if there and also right at the last second i noticed it had like slight hail damage so 
it wasn't a lot, but everybody was making a big deal out of it. But um, so close. That would have been super sick. Um, it would have been interesting to see how that sold. It's kind of unique being purple and everything. But um, yeah, it didn't end up doing that. But I got a 2020, the Harley Davidson. Uh, it's like an FXX. Um, like 1800 CC Street Bob. It's like matte silver. It's pretty sick. It's that is on an offer. Um, but yeah, we got these that you just saw. Um, it's still bright out, so I'm actually headed to wash every single one, get them posted instead of waiting a day. Um, but honestly, pretty happy. Pretty happy. Got these all for really good deals um everybody was actually pretty pissed today because everything was going so high but i snagged all of these this one i kind of paid a little extra for but the reason i did and i'll show you a video um when i wash it it is like mint condition which is very similar to the audi a4 s line that i got that was just mint condition had like 150,000 miles but was super clean um and i'll just have to show you this when i get out but it's like the paint's in like perfect condition um and so is everything else heated seats sunroof and it is the 335 which everybody likes it's the, v it's the uh v6 twin turbo or inline six twin turbo which is like, you know, one of the best engines they make. Sounds strong, the exhaust even sounds good, you know, being stock. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited, pretty happy. And uh, hopefully, guys, we get these all gone before next week. And uh, that would just be incredible. I do believe I'll probably sit on the Harley for a little bit, but it's a 2020 with 2,500 miles, worth like 15 grand. I got it for seven. Um, so I mean, I, I mean, I would take 85, honestly, just get it gone, but I'm going to actually enjoy it. Hopefully this Sunday, uh, it's going to be like 70 degrees. So definitely going to take a cruise out on that. Um, probably with Karina too. So we, that's how we originally met. The first time we went out was on my motorcycle. So brings back memories. It's always fun to go on a little cruise. I don't like doing nothing too crazy with her on the back. Um, as far as like a long drive or anything, but it's always fun to cruise a little back road and get some dinner. Um, but yeah, gonna clean these up. What is up guys? All done cleaning. Um, it is now dark, but uh, I'll show, I'll post up a couple pictures. I, I didn't end up getting a video of that Beamer, but I'll show how clean it is uh, just from the pictures and uh, show a couple of the other ones. And yeah, hopefully uh, here tomorrow, I will be able to see if i got that harley or not if i did then we're gonna be driving that puppy on sunday so i'll let you guys know um get a, and i'll show a picture of it as well so we'll see hopefully we got it but uh that'll be it for today's video guys please like comment subscribe and i will see you next time peace